Well, hello there. I am about to show you extremely easy way how to set up permanent affinity level to any of your programs, even Steam games or any games. I saw some tutorials and I thought those were kinda crap and I decided to make my own. I don't know if this is going to be any better but I can always try. So, let's say I want my GIMP to run only for uh, Chorus 2 and 4. So, first thing you need to do is locate your folder where your program is installed and create shortcut from the program. Just like that. Then go to the uh, shortcut properties and copy this line into the target. I will put this code into the uh, description of this video. Just like that. And path to your program is already in here, so just copy it. And replace this. Just like that. Now it's missing a little piece from the end, so add slash and the name of your program. And dot x. Don't forget this x. And next to the affinity levels. This x presents hexadecimal value of the course you want to use. So uh, we want to use course 2 and 4. And for that, I am, we need a binary code for it. So I am going to demonstrate it very. It sounds complicated, but it's really not. So I am going to demonstrate it right now. So for co four cores, one, two, three, and four. And let's count them backwards. Four, three, two and one and we want to use the number two and four so we want to use this and this and because we want to use them they will be number ones and this one which are not in use will be zero and zero now we have a binary code for the cores we want to use and it needs to be changed into hexadecimal mode so Go to your Google and write binary to hexadecimal converter. I always pick up the first one because it's extremely easy. And copy this uh, binary code into here. 1010 and convert. And we get letter A. Keep that in your mind because we are going to replace this X with A and OK. And now we have a circuit that starts skimp with only 2 and 4 cores. And if you want to be sure it's working, go to the processes and search your program. In my case it's skimp, so uh, click it with your right mouse key, set affinity and you can see that it's running only course 2 and 4. So it's working. Let's say you don't like this uh, CMD looking uh, icon. It's extremely easy to change as well. Go to the properties, change icon, pros, and find the program. In my case it's oh it's GIMP. There it is. And choose the icon you want. Click OK and OK. You can even change the name. Just like that. And now you have a shortcut that runs GIMP uh, with only two and four cores. Like I said. It's working on any programs or games you have. Just use the same method. 
Well, if you liked this video, thumbs up and we might see you in the next episode, which is probably not coming soon. See ya!